concern was not with the welfare of my patient, but with the question of whether he was making any sense, and how many people there were in this world to whom he would make sense. For although psychopaths are a small minority, it seems significant that whenever militant and organized hate exists, a psychopath is the leader. And if, for instance, 100 disgruntled and frustrated individuals fall in line behind one psychopath, then, in essence, we are concerned with the actions of 101 psychopaths. Assuming that it has no direct bearing on your problem, are you embarrassed talking about your subversive activities? Look, first, I've never done anything I've been ashamed of. And second, as far as I'm concerned, I've only done what I believe was right. Now, that in my book can't be called subversive. It's a cause, just like any other. I don't expect you to understand. Being a Negro, you're biased. But you take the ordinary man. <laughs> now, he's lost. He has no real leader. He wants a leader. He wants a lot of things he doesn't have and doesn't know how to get. But most of all, he wants an excuse to get them. A cause. And that's where you come in. No. No, that's where you come in. No offense intended. You see, we need you. Where there's no definite enemy, why we create one. People need one to blame things on. So you see, you're the secret weapon. You're the cause to unite against. And you and the Jews, more than anybody else, will be responsible for our triumph. And just how do you intend to bring about this triumph? with people. Take 10 people who believe in your cause. Five of those bring a friend. Now there are 15. They chip in, get a little hall, do a little public speaking. And... Now out of, say, 100 people, 20 come over and ask questions. Suddenly you're 35. 35 dues-paying people. Now those 35 dues-paying people bring friends. And their friends bring friends. Some don't have any jobs, so you tell them why they don't have any jobs and why their kids are hungry. Then they bring their kids, and their kids are beautiful. And you love their kids, and you hate those chosen few who don't. And soon you create interest, and interest draws people, and people bring money, and money means a little organization. And there you are. It gives you power, and power creates fear. And fear creates hate. And hate creates the enemy, and the enemy fights back. Fighting back creates more interest. Yeah, right here, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Get it right here. Right here. Believe me, if it wasn't for the war, we'd be running things right now. Make it sound so easy. Go ahead and laugh. Laugh and you won't hear us coming. <laughs> <laughs> 